Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 508. My name is Ajay Pramara and you are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar. And uh, so we are on the video number 508. And in this video today we are going to talk about the user forms which you, which you make in the Excel using the VBA, right? So I want to talk about that. Uh, sometimes we required, you know, to know that the the form which you make, you know, uh, the controls which you, you create like text box or the labels or the frame or, you know, the calendars, checkbox, option button. I have pasted the snapshot here. You can see these are all the controls, right? So if you want to know that what all, you know, what sort of uh, controls you have, uh, uh, you know, uh, in that uh, the Excel user form then how to actually check that how to retrieve those control names because every control is a different right so this is what we are going to talk about the, the part one I'm starting uh, this uh, the series on this and then in the further videos also you'll see some more modifications in the code but this is going to be the first video in this attempt however you can watch a lot of videos on user forms just go and check Excel VK playlist called user form now before I jump on to this I also want to share the playlist because on my channel uh, on your channel actually uh, we have got more than 45 playlists and these are the playlist names you can pause the video you can you know note it down uh, if you want to follow the channel videos if you want to learn Excel Excel VBA or access front end or access VBA this is the sequence for you because I receive a lot of messages, calls and also the emails, comments on the channel that because we have so many videos, uh, people get confused, you know, that uh, which video is to watch first and which playlist is to watch first. So these are all the playlists on these subjects and you can follow it. Now let us go back to the real topic. So we have uh, this Excel window, I go to the Visual Basic. Now I have created a form here. You can see that guys, right? If you don't have any idea about the user forms, please go and check. I'm again repeating Excel VB user forms playlist. You will find there, I think 10, 10, 12 videos and every video is unique in there. I talked about how to create the user, you know, user form, how to create the text boxes, how to create the list boxes, how to create the combo boxes, how to create the calendars. I mean, the, the that playlist has uh, sufficient uh, you know the uh, the amount of information for you right from the basic to the advanced level we have uh, we had a discussion around some very advanced uh, subjects also subject uh, case studies also on the user forms right now as you know that uh, I have what I have done is I have created some text boxes here and this is my frame button I have created one combo box as well right a command button I beg your pardon if you want to create some more you know buttons for example I just go and click on the toolbox and let's say I, I create here one one more command button let's say this is my command button and I just go and create let's say a list box as well so I just track this just to give you the understanding so this is your list box right now this is your list box this is your one of the command button and uh, this is the another command button so when I run this basically what I want to do is I want to know the names of all these controls the moment I click on the submit button I click on the submit and nothing is happening here obviously because we haven't done anything right now we have not programmed anything right so how to get that information guys so what you need to do is uh, I just double click on this button submit button and we will go in this uh, the submit click and here we're going to write a very small program but very powerful so what I want to do is I want to make a collection loop here right now collection loops as I always say that they are very powerful in fact one of my favorite subject in VBA and uh, you you see that on this channel you will find a lot of videos on collection loops with the different different examples with the different different collection loops discussion going there on Excel VBA as well as access VBA also right please don't forget to watch these two playlists Excel VBA collection loops and access VBA collection loops now what are the collection loops actually I'll just brief you about it uh, whenever in VBA you want to loop through you want to access the you know uh, one by one every object which which is a part of same family then 
you can use the for each loop right it it starts with the for each word actually right now for example if you want to loop through all the sheets for each worksheet in worksheets if you want to go to every workbook open workbook then you can use for each workbook in workbooks if you want to work with uh, with the different uh, number of the charts you know then you can use for each chart object in the chart object similarly for each pivot in the you know pivot pivot so these are all the ready-made predefined collection loops very very powerful now today what we are going to do on the same on, on the on the same principle we have a loop called for each control in the user form controls right guys uh, because you know that uh, when you when you when you create any form when you go to the you know this toolbox option uh, let me show you that I just go and click on the toolbox okay my toolbox is not highlighted right now so let me just reset the code and let's go back to the view to uh, view and there we go so here we have the toolbox now guys this, this is what you see you know i was telling you in the ppt also these are all the controls we call them controls this is like for example label this is the text box this is a combo box this is a list box this is a check box this is an option button this is a toggle button this is a frame this is command button there are so many things i talked about almost every 90 percent of these controls i had already covered in my excel vba user form playlist now for so we want to look through we want to check how many controls we have created in this so what we can do is there is a you know a collection loop which is given to us by microsoft vba which is called for each control in you know your form control form dot controls now this is how basically we write any kind of you know the loop for each and the next word comes here now here we will do some changes uh, because uh, right now you have to make sure that form should be the name of the form which is user form one so here i'm just gonna write user form and then dot and you know the controls right so this is how you write it now this control also we cannot directly use it what you have to do is you have to define here a variable so let's say i i write here my underscore ctl which is the shortcut of let's say control and then you go here and say that user form which is a class and then you have to define that control here okay this is how you define the control now i have just a problem which i realized that when i press dot it's not coming the dot is not coming uh, so i think uh, user form you don't have to write you can directly use the control class yes so this is what i was thinking and we are right on that now this control is going to be your my ctl which is because this is the object you know you have created so this is now how we are going to use this right and i, I also uh, remember one thing when i was writing user form you know dot there was nothing coming right so i should have stopped there because when the dot is not showing you the properties on the methods that there is something wrong so actually i forgot to write one because your user form name is user form one isn't it guys you can see here this is your user form one so i want to look through all the controls now this is how it is it's very easy to understand for each my control in user form one dot control right so i want to check that what are the names so you just put here the message box if you want to get those values in you know uh, the excel also then that is also you can do but right now i just write here dot name my ctl dot name right now if you run this so let's go ahead and uh, you know i put the break code here i first of all go to the you know this insert i create a module and in this module i write a name of the macro which should show up the form so i write here show form and then you just write the form name this is how we write what is your form name obviously we can see that it's user form one so i write here user form one dot show right so now what will happen if i just go here in this button which i have created you can simply go to the insert in the ribbon and create any sort of shape there then i just give this macro a name now once i have given that macro you know it is going to work so there we go Look at this now this is the form the, when i click on the submit this is what should happen oh <laughs> not the error should happen actually so what's wrong okay so sorry guys i forgot to put here the control my ctl because see this control is your now my underscore ctl that is object i created so let's run the code here now all right there we go now you see that this is the text box one we have the text box two we have the text box three and now we have command button which is cmb submit i have given this submit button a name which is called cmb submit that's why it shows as cmb submit what is the next is it's a frame one this is your frame one actually 
click OK. So now let's go for the next. Uh, the next is command button one. You remember this command button one, guys? You know this command button which I inserted, right? Since I had not given it any name, that's why it is showing as command button one. And then list box one. This is also the another control which we created, and finally finish the game is done the game is over right so if you have to export this let's say for example then i can quickly you know go and uh, write this um, instead of the message box then what you can do is uh, you can simply say that uh, sheets and then in the sheet called let's say a because a is my sheet name as you know you can see that so i'll write here in the cells called let's say the row number and the column number uh, maybe let's say the column number one dot value should be equals to my control name now what is r r is nothing it's just a row number okay it is going to represent a row and uh, it is a variable so we declare this r also so i write r as byte and then i'm going to start the r from let's say four the row number has to be four now when i run this so let me quickly run this so i hit here and i submit it i just quickly let me remove the break code i click on the, you know this macro and now let us see so my macro is done I guess and uh, we should be able to see all the values let me go to the column E actually you can see that this is the the entire data is coming here and this is what exactly we had you know three text boxes this is the frame this is the list box one this is the submit button right this is the command button one this is the command button actually submit and so we have got all the data here let me close this right so this is how guys if you ever want to check what controls do you have you can quickly go and use this collection loop right this is the class we have used control and then finally the name of your form whatever it is make sure the name should be correct right like we were doing some mistake instead of user form one i wrote user form that is a that that is obviously going to create an issue so i hope uh, this will make a lot of sense to you and uh, i will uh, i will be talking about uh, further you know uh, one more video i will upload on that and we will see in that video that if you specifically want to uh, import the uh, some specific controls like let's say the text box only and you are not interested in the other controls like submit button or frame or list box then how to do that right so we will be talking about that in the coming video so wait for that video and uh, enjoy this video practice on this do subscribe to the channel do like the video uh, because every like you know gives a lot of lot of energy and you know push to me that um, it pushes me actually to to upload more videos on that and to be a part of this you know your great company as always so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my